Stevens Institute of Technology is located on the Hudson River overlooking Manhattan. The Schaefer School of Engineering and Science is the largest school on campus. We aspire to become the top tier student-centric, technological-focused premier research university for discovery, technology, innovations to benefit industry and society at large. Davidson Laboratory is a unique facility for testing different types of marine vessels as well as uh, different types of shore protection technologies. It's actually one of the only facilities in the country that marries both of these together and does both sort of aspects. The facility that we have is one of the fastest in the world. It's a very large tank. It's 313 feet long, 12 feet wide, and six feet deep. The other thing that I think is really beneficial about the lab is we have capabilities to do tests not only in the tank, but also field work and also uh, numerical or computer simulations. So nowadays, pretty much the, the really cool stuff happens when you get all of those factors working together. And we're one of the few places in the world where we have the field capabilities, the numerical capabilities, and the physical modeling capabilities all rolled up into one location. The Center for Quantum Science and Engineering, it is a interdisciplinary research, education, and a development center. We have a hybrid quantum communication network. The main objective of um, our research is to implement quantum science and technology in a practical settings. And that will require an enormous amount of engineering work. And uh, Stevens has this very proud history of innovative engineering. CI, Stevens Institute for Artificial Intelligence, is set up as a cross-disciplinary body. We have about 54 different faculty uh, from all the schools of Stevens, so from the College of Arts and Letters all the way to um, business. The way we've organized ourselves into these nine different um, trust areas is not in the traditional silos of this school goes in this, this expertise and this other school goes in the other expertise, not like that. In all the nine different focus areas, we have faculty coming from all over the university. We have this ability to sort of be boundaryless and not be in silos, and so that's a, that's a valuable thing for us. I've always found that collaboration to be extremely valuable. Um, you can sort of combine together knowledge of people from different areas and discover new opportunities for science, new paths forward. And so I enjoy collaborating with people in other departments. The funding our researchers receive, such as the NSF Career Awards and many other competitive awards, help them conduct cutting edge research in the frontal areas and advance the science and engineering knowledge and research. PhD students are basically who do the research in my lab. I was very lucky and also very happy to have very good PhD students. My second PhD student has already become an assistant professor. I think, you know, the experience that they are having in my lab and beyond within the national labs are helping their education greatly. What really excites me about working here is the opportunity to work with dedicated graduate students and creative undergraduate students to work on challenging problems that have implications for human health and disease, and all the while doing so by recruiting fundamental engineering principles uh, to design and build new enabling technologies. The field of engineering in the future will be very much intertwined with many other areas. Stephen's role in such change is that we are really geared towards training well-rounded students that have skills in multiple areas, from engineering and science to social science to humanity.